we need your help. There are so many people who come here every day, some probably 250 to 300 people a day access our ministries. And with a staff of six people, obviously we count on volunteers mightily to help us achieve our goals in ministering to our brothers and sisters in need. So why volunteer? Because we need your help. Without your volunteer efforts and ours and goodness and kindness, uh, we cannot fulfill the ministries of the Dubuque Rush Commission. Uh, the best way would be to give a call or to somehow access us um, through the internet, the web, email, telephone, and uh, tell us what you're interested in doing. We can explain to you some of the avenues that might be helpful or where we need assistance versus some where um, lots of volunteers are at this point occupying those positions. So, but just to run down quickly, um, our kitchen is the uh, perhaps the easiest way to begin volunteering here at the Dubuque Rescue Commission. Uh, it involves about an hour of your time. Um, it can be breakfast, lunch, or supper, but for most people it usually is lunch or supper and can be done on the weekends. Uh, it involves calling the mission at 583-1394. Whoever answers the phone, tell them you're looking to volunteer in the kitchen. Who would you speak to? Another place that we use a number of volunteers is our thrift store. We currently have two thrift stores. One's at 398 Main Street and the other at 235 West 2nd Street. They're just two blocks away from each other. And there we use volunteers to sort clothing, to sort furniture, to sort household items, to dust, to organize, to price, to uh, lift boxes, to go through books. Um, there's a myriad of, of ways that you can offer volunteer time at the thrift, thrift stores. Um, and that is open from 9.30 to 5 um, each day except for Sunday, and then on Saturday, 9.30 to 3.30. If you have a larger group, we also have in the growing season our gardens and greenhouse. So from March 1st to oh, October 31st, you can access the mission by volunteering in our gardens, weeding, planting, mowing, picking vegetables, picking fruit, uh, starting seeds um, uh, in our greenhouse, working with our aquaculture, working with our chickens. Uh, there's just a, a, a number of ways that we can um, serve uh, your group or your volunteer efforts in the Mission Greenhouse and Gardens. Another place um, for, uh, this would be a unique or, or a, um, a uh, volunteer who has some skill in bicycle repair. We have a bicycle repair shop where if you're a cyclist or someone who has the ability to repair bicycles, um, the technical ability, um, then we can really use you um, to help with our men there in the bicycle shop and to help uh, uh, to tune up and repair bicycles that come as donations to the mission. Our faith in Jesus Christ reminds us that when we serve one another, especially those in need, that we are serving Christ. And so ultimately, when volunteers come here, they may not actually articulate it that way, but on the, on the very base level, the reason they come here to serve is to help their brother and sister in need because Christ has commanded, has invited us to see him in the least among us. Yes. However you get yourself involved, I believe it'll be a powerful and uplifting and uh, spirit-filled experience. And on behalf of myself, Rick Mim, the director of the Dubuque Rouse Commission, and my staff, we thank you for your willingness to serve those who are struggling.